Now to the latest chapter in the traffic jam scandal that has engulfed Chris Christie, the governor of New Jersey. Christie attended a star-studded birthday party last night here in New York for radio personality Howard Stern. But Christie's political hot water is on a high simmer this morning, thanks to an official near the center of the controversy. That official claims to have evidence, but so far has not provided it. Elaine Quijano is following the story. Governor Chris Christie has always denied that he knew about the lane closures leading to the George Washington Bridge that snarled traffic for four days in Fort Lee last September, either before or while they were occurring. I, I don't know what else to say except to tell them that I had no knowledge of this, of the planning, the execution, or anything about it. Um, and that I first found out about it um, after it was over. Um, and even then, what I was told was that it was a traffic study. The lawyer for the man who helped carry out the lane closings disputes that, writing, a person within the Christie administration communicated the Christie administration's order that certain lanes on the George Washington Bridge were to be closed. And evidence exists as well, tying Mr. Christie to having knowledge of the lane closures. David Wildstein is the former Port Authority executive who allegedly set the closings in motion after he received an email from Christie's former deputy chief of staff, Bridget Kelly, who wrote an email saying, time for some traffic problems in Fort Lee. The lane closures were apparent political payback against the Fort Lee mayor for not endorsing the governor's re-election campaign. Wildstein replied, got it. The letter went on to say, Mr. Wildstein contests the accuracy of various statements that the governor made about him, and he can prove the inaccuracy of some. In a statement released late Friday, the Christie administration said, Mr. Wildstein's lawyer confirms what the governor has said all along. He had absolutely no prior knowledge of the lane closures before they happened, and whatever Mr. Wildstein's motivations were for closing them to begin with. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Elaine Quijano, New York.